Yo, hey guys, welcome back to Little Grandma. Little Guardsman, I meant. That would be funny if it was Little Grandma, though. <laughs> look at a little grandma. She's just a little grandma. That's all. Ooh, look at that. We're halfway done, guys. This is episode four. Thank you all for sticking around, tuning in every episode. It means a lot to me. Let's freaking do this. And although the princess has come home, she is still remaining oh, yeah. quiet we, where okay, she was so we, during her missing time. But frankly, this was at the I end of last care. episode. We basically She's got, got that here. Look at me, I'm back attitude, and it reflects <laughs> in her style. I'm back attitude. Also, I hope you guys don't mind. I, I, I sometimes I get tired of wearing these big bulky earphones. I actually have ears. Did you know this? Look at I have ears. Sometimes I just get tired of wearing them, man. I don't know. I like this look better, you know, until I change it again. <laughs> All right, it's time to do some guarding. So she made her choice. Her <laughs> life is filled with intrigue, and I feel like I am now somehow intertwined with her fate's path. Yeah, oh, well, that's just that's just what a little guardian, little guardsman's gotta do, you know. Gotta do what you gotta do. All right, Dad's left us another note. There's what do we got? Dad. Dear Lil, here's an excuse why I can't work the guard shed today. Love that. Another excuse. Back wow. to the guard shed for me. Wait a minute. Where's the chronometer? I always leave it right here. Oh no, it's been stolen. No, the secret Krabby I'm Patty not going formula has been I find stolen. My chronometer. Oh, am I actually supposed to find it? I don't think we're gonna be finding it, are we? Not in or under there. Is it in here? It's not in there. Is it in here? There it is. What? What's it doing under the bed? Spooky. I, I don't remember putting it there. That's kind of weird, huh? Wait, what time is it? I don't want to be late. For a time machine, you'd think they could have at least put a clock on it somewhere. It's six o'clock, apparently. All right. <laughs> that was random. What? I'm sure we're going to figure out what that means later on. Kind of weird, huh? Oh, hey, you again. The Praetor has been greatly dishonored by your Princess Desdemona. This rebuke is a slap in the face to all Marvag. I'm sure Nicki Minaj will forgive us. Is that another head? <laughs> Whose head is this? Cheer, cheer up. What a baby. What does that mean? What a baby? Oh, like calling them a baby? Cheer up. Well, you know what they say. You win some, you lose some. All's fair in love and war. Other cliche sayings. Keep your chin up, Praetor. You'll find someone. Your words mean nothing to us, as this sprawl is now the sworn enemy of the Marvag. The next time we meet, it will be on the field of battle. Get the hug! Just because they didn't get picked? I'm well, sorry. that's not great. I'm only 12 years old! What do you want to do? Okay, all this reading once again. Okay, I'll try to get through this easily so you guys don't have to read so much. Or at least listen to me read so much. Okay, there's a general distaste for non-humans in Pertrard. However, any formal event is elevated by the presence of elves. So elves are good. Delicate beauty rules, though day when it comes to the mill. Remember this golden rule. Even in the face of total catast catastrophe, dignity always dignity. Okay. So elves are good. Oh, so the wedding's happening. Okay. Okay. Seems like they keep talking about wedding. Uh-oh. Reports indicate a dramatic increase in secret meetings and rumblings of revolution. Revolution. To admit a goblin is to be hit with a 40 gold fine. No exceptions. So no goblins. Man, what does this game got against goblins? The wedding is almost upon us. Have your eyes open for vendors and artisans making their way into the sprawl for the big events. Okay. So basically just no goblins. <laughs> No pomegranates! No, 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 no pomegranates! I'm probably the only person that remembers that freaking video. The Wakandan prince I sent all my banking information to finally came through with my share of the gold. It actually worked. Wow, for somebody. Call me if you're in a pinch. Rich in friends and gold. Malcolm. Good for you. All right, we're starting this up, baby. I hope we get to work another night shift again because that was, like, really cool. All right, we have, like, so many... Uh, of these gems. All right, we're gonna fill these bad boys up. You know it. Even though we never really need them. All right, what do we got today? What kind of crazies we got today? Michael. Jail. <laughs> what? What? Hello, Will. What? No more sparkly suit? It was a rental. Besides, today I'm here in a different capacity to help coordinate the royal wedding. You have a lot of jobs, Mike. You're darn right I do. This is me in 50 years. <laughs> Actually, I'd be like 80 years old. <laughs> That's, no. 
This is me in. Uh, hopefully, this is me never. Actually, screw that. And I want to keep my hair as long as I my can. my least favorite out of all of them. Yeah, no. Tell you what, why don't you be the wedding planner for the day? What do you think? God, do I gotta do ever? Like seriously, I do everybody's job. I run this kingdom. I'm 12 years old. <laughs> what does that say for the kingdom? I think it's very irresponsible to get a 12 year old girl to do two grown men separate jobs. All you have to do is choose the music, decorations, and food menu for the big event. It's simple. Just let in the one you like the best. Well, if it's so simple, then why don't you do it? Or the one you think the groom would like best. Oh, or who the bride will like. I'm sure it's not really going to affect anything. Or it might. See, it's simple. Do you want me to explain it again? No. Okay, good. The only thing I hate more than wedding planning is talking about wedding planning. The wedding musicians will be coming by for you to choose first. Here's mm -hmm. the gold. See you later, Lil. Yeah, yeah. I have 350 gold remaining in the wedding planning budget. Whoa, this gig pays great. The money's not for you. There's three choices for music, food, and decor, and each comes with its own price tag. The gold is the budget for the wedding. Hmm, so if... Can I keep it? <laughs> what if I don't choose anybody? Do I get to keep all the money? Uh, you have to choose somebody. And the cheapest options might not make people happy. But if there's money left over, you get to keep it. I want to make this like the most cheapest wedding. <laughs> I want this. I want to keep the money. I see. But if you go over budget, it'll have to come out of your own pocket. You freaking, you, this is basically Squidward. He sounds like Squidward kind of looks like him too. I see. We're on a tight timeline, so keep an eye on your action points. You've got four per round, so that's talking to everybody once or to two folks twice. You get the idea. Need that run by you one more time? So we get more action points. Remember, okay. you do the choosing. I'll be here to record your choice and keep track of the budget. Okay. Okay, well, it's no biggie. Just choose the three most important elements of any wedding and try not to stress that it's a royal one. You got this. All right. Okay. Interesting already. <laughs> Wait, do I have to talk to them one by one? Hello, young lady. The name is Jacob Fiddlestein, and me and my accordion here play all the polka conga you kids are so crazy about these days. Oh, I know. It's all of our TikTok, that polka conga. He begins to sing. A one and two and polka conga, two and three and polka conga, three and one and polka conga. Boy, <laughs> I nearly winded myself there. You know what, man? You know what? You're in. I <laughs> freaking... Wait, what do Have I... Have you made up your mind? Uh, wait. No? Hello. Hi. Oh, they're all together. They're bunched up. My name and I sing, um, with my voice. I do the slow songs and the nice songs and some of the ones you know. <laughs> I do the nice songs. Okay, can you sing, uh, Free Bird? I don't think so. Vlad Extreme. Maybe you here, can, mate. I don't know. I know what you're thinking. What is the baddest, metalist bad boy of death metal playing some skint royal wedding? Yeah. Well, I ain't here just to collect a big paycheck, mate. I'm here to stick it to the bourgeoisie and not take any of their crap, mate. Rock and roll all life long. Okay. How much do you guys cost? Are you gonna tell me? I, I, I'm scared to say no to them because what if they, the next ones are trash? Have you made up your mind? Yes. Oh, there it is. Okay. Actually, I want to see this dude. I want to see him freaking shred in this wedding. He's, <laughs> he's actually the most expensive, but look at him. He doesn't belong at a royal wedding, but I want to see it. Okay, you know, I, this is fine. This is fine. Extreme! <laughs> Extreme! Good choice, maybe. I'll write this down and be back when the next group turns up. See ya, kid. Alright, I don't think we can really fail this, right? It's just, it's a preference. So we're gonna do this really good. Oh, you again! Well, Aren't you the magician? The Edward, the great magician. Got another group of brats to entertain? Where are you pulling a rabbit out of now? Oh, get this guy some glasses. 
I'm afraid I've put my days of magic and illusions behind me. Oh, has he turned uh, a new leaf? You got kicked out of the Magician's Union, didn't you? Yes, I did. Seems people preferred the actual dark arts to my light entertainment. No matter, though, I've got a new career now. Yeah, what is that? Working at your parents' garden shop? Psst, they wish. I'm a wedding officiant. I'm here to officiate the royal wedding. Really? You? Uh, I mean, you are? I am. Hmm. Now, where'd that guy go? Oh, so we have an option to use something then. Okay, so we're back to normal. the Edward, the wedding officiant now, is it? Of course it isn't. Do you know how ridiculous it was for me to have the Edward, the magician, as my name? It was so redundant. I can't believe nobody ever told me. Two these? I must have looked like an idiot. <laughs> these? Well, when you put it that way. So now it's just Edward, the official officiant. With only one the, thank you very much. Hey, you're gonna make it now. I don't know, man. Let's, uh, let's doubt it. I mean, I trust him, actually. I, I don't know. I, I kind of trust him. I don't know why. That name certainly does sound official. I had to take a three-hour course at the Elven Community College to get it. Wow. That's crazy, dude. What made you want to become a wedding officiant? This morning, someone from the castle came into my parents' shop to place a big order of flowers for the royal wedding. And that's when I got to thinking. <laughs> she literally started today. One three-hour course at the Elven Community College later, and here I am. It's my first gig as an officiant. I want to let him in. I I do. I just want to let him in. I, I, hey, we got to give him a chance. They always say you need experience, but how can you get experience when it's your first job? I remember I got I I remember getting an interview for Subway. Can you imagine me? Me working at a Subway? Here, here's your sandwich. I never got hired, by the way. Spoiler alert. Uh, but I remember like they were they were saying, oh, I need experience. It's like okay. Well, then hire me then and I'll get it. I would have sucked at the job. Let's be honest. I'm kind of glad I didn't get it. That's back where they had $5 footlongs. Pretty exciting to get to officiate the royal wedding. Well, technically I wasn't hired, but maybe it's a detail they left at the last minute and need someone desperately. I don't think weddings usually work that way. Okay, I think we're supposed to let him in though, right? Because he's like an entertainer. So you know what? Let's just freaking let him in. Good luck. Good luck, everybody. <laughs> Edward, the official officiant, I hereby grant you access to the sprawl to officially officiate the royal wedding. Well, technically, I haven't been hired yet, so here's yeah, hoping so I get the like, job. It's not like he's gonna Thanks get the again, job friend. We're not friends. Oh my god. Are Edward <laughs> and I friends? Oh my god. I love the, the freaking disgust. He changed careers just for a moment like this, but there's very little indication he's not going to cock it up. Maybe there was a way to help him. Wait. Aw. I'm not gonna remind. It's fine. Hello there, I'm back. On to the decorator candidates. I don't have to tell you how important the interior decorations and overall aesthetic of a wedding can be. Uh -huh. I don't have to tell you because I refuse to tell you. Anyways, here they are. Take your shot. All right, Michael. That's your real name. <laughs> the painter. Why does she even look like a Zelda character? Uh, so that's an elf. They said elves are okay, but not the freaking trolls or whatever they're called. <laughs> I don't think they're called trolls. Goblins, whatever they were. Hello again, mum. Thought I'd see my way down to do some decorating for the royal wedding. Ain't much of a decorate per se, but I got my cerulean blue, blood red, and cadmium green with me. So I'd go do something with them, I suppose. Okay. Hello. I've got some grand ideas, you know, for how the royal wedding should be. You might not know it, but I read all the latest wedding magazines down at the salon when I'm getting the old do done. And apparently what's in these days is meat. I don't like your ear hair. I'm sorry. Big gold slabs of meat on the wall. It gives things a real abattoir feel, so they say. So I guess I'd go with that. Okay, what about you? Now this looks like a woman. 
that should be freaking <laughs> doing this wedding. Look at her. Who am I, you ask? Only the editor of the biggest wedding magazine in circulation right now. There's no one else who can do the royal wedding justice, darling. Surely you've seen my work. She's supposed to be like, is she got, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I've never seen the movie, but it's like, uh, uh, what's it called? The Devil Wears Prada? Is it supposed to be like that shit from the movie? I don't know. Just don't look in last year's issue, darling. I went on a real tangent about slaughterhouses what? one night, and my team printed everything I said. Blame the Quaaludes. But this year, darling, we'll do something daring. Daring and bold, darling. Can you feel it? Okay, darling. Okay, um, so what are the prices? Have you made up your mind? Um, mm, uh, based off their price, I will say yes. Okay, I can't afford, I can't afford her. But you know what? I know what they said. They don't want the freaking goblins or whatever they're called. But Seamus McGoblin is a good guy. Look at him. He's a hardworking dude. And he's nice. I don't even know. I feel like they will, they'll penalize me. I don't care. Screw the rules. Seamus is coming to the wedding. I really appreciate the work, Lil. I'm gonna paint the town red. I'm blue. And green. And it's set in stone. I'll write this down and be back. They are not the gonna be happy group. with my choice. I'm sorry. This wedding's gonna be stupid. Oh, you again. It is I. Articulous Flame Hands, a contestant you did not find worthy on the hit show, so you think you can save a princess. Not going to lie, that really stung. In any case, I have a message to deliver to the High Council of the Mages Guild. All you, all you were able to do is make squirrels. Like, I, I, I don't even know what so that. So if there's nothing else, I will be on my way. Okay, uh, how about more? Oh, it is getting harder and harder for mages to communicate openly. So everyone is resorting to this secret message, cloak and dagger nonsense. Between us, there's talk of mages dabbling in the magic that dares not speak its name. Okay. I kind of felt like something was wrong with the mages guild, but I couldn't put my finger on it. Yes. It is still within control, but if this dark faction keeps pursuing its dark goals, dark days lie ahead. Dark. Dark. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. This is the message I have been charged to deliver to the High Council of the Mages Guild. No use in trying to read it, though. It is concealed by a web of oh, secret really spells well, have... and codes that would be incredibly difficult to untangle. I have just the thing. So glad you said. I'm sure it's not that hard to decode if you really tried. The codes used by the High Council are too strong for me, a mere level 9, to interpret. Wards held by powerful crystals were used to create them. It would take powerful crystal magic to decode this. Well, I mean, I need an excuse to use some of this stuff, so here we go. Hey, can I see the letter you're delivering? Let's see what this says. Incredible! Let me see. Wait, what? No, this cannot be true. These renegade mages are more deeply embedded than I thought! I was sent to deliver this? Dear child, thank you for saving me from myself. I must flee and work to weed out the bad actors within the guild. Dark days lie ahead. Be careful. Your name was also mentioned in the letter. Uh-oh. Yo, let me read it. You helped to reveal some of the murky goings within the mage's guild and saved Articulus becoming an, an accessory to it. Okay, so what does the letter say? You're All not right, gonna, kid, that's can you feel it? Actually. We're almost done. This is the last hellish choice you'll have to make as a wedding planner. I, for one, cannot wait to be finished. Just hurry up and pick the food option for the wedding so we can get out of here. I'm gonna pick some freaking frog toes, frog ankles. I'm not allowed to leave. That's what they're gonna eat. 
Oh, wow. Wow. All right, hello, Kelly. I'm interested in Kelly over here. She's so tall. Monty's has the soup. That's all I'm allowed to say. Okay, soup. <laughs> they already said this, didn't they, about soup? Okay, I gotta talk to them a little bit, right? Good afternoon. I am here today representing Catering Corp regarding a contract to provide the sustenance for the large gathering okay, boring. the royal wedding. Boring. Catering Corp is willing to provide the base amount of calories needed to sustain such a high capacity event in return for appropriate I'm, remuneration. I'm falling asleep from this guy. I am accompanied by samples of our food and a detailed list of- Okay, literally shut up. Okay, what, what about you? I gotta at least hear them once. Bonjour, mademoiselle. Je m'appelle François Saint-Français, head waiter à la chaise de la maison. We provide the finest and the fanciest of delicacies for the newly married royal couple and their guests. <laughs> that guy sounds exactly like, uh, I can't show, I don't think I can show it. This is one guy that's like on, pretty sure he's like on TikTok or something. He always sounds like something like, can you drink the water or... <laughs> He doesn't say it like that. He basically asks people to drink water and then like whenever like and tries to make them laugh by like speaking like that basically. And he just does this like dumb face. And it makes people laugh. That's what it sounds like though. I, you probably know what I'm talking about. Only the smallest portion. I think he's trying to like the pretend to be Borat or of course. Very she she pom pom for the snootiest of people. A place someone like you or anyone you know would never get into, no matter how hard you tried. Oh, really? Well, then you're not going to get any business today. All right, Kelly. What's up, Kelly? Here's the menu. Spoiler, it's soup. <laughs> it's soup. Hey, that sounds right. Honestly, the princess seems pretty down to earth, right? I think we're going to pick Kelly. I think we're going to go with Kelly. You know, no reason. No other reason. Many reads. One appetizer soup, entree soup, entree soup, and dessert soup. Ugh. <laughs> Disgusting. I'm sure she's the cheapest option though, right? Have you made up your mind? Yes. I'm gonna have money too, so this is like a win-win. Alright. We look forward to making it a super event. Get it? Ah, uh, Kelly, you're funny. <laughs> Thank God this nightmare of a job is over. All the rest of you go home. Good choosing, kid. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say that, but well, I do got two hundred bucks. Well, I hope it's good. I wouldn't want to be the one responsible for messing up something like a royal wedding. Anyways, goodbye. This is gonna be a great wedding, okay? At least I didn't skimp out on the music, as far as price-wise goes, you know. Thank you. I am a citizen of the sprawl. I have nothing to declare on my person, and I demand to be allowed entry. Okay, another one of these people. I have no further statement to make beyond the following. I am a citizen of the sprawl. I have nothing to declare Is on my person. Is going to say the same thing? No. How do I know you have nothing on your person? How do I know you're even a citizen of the sprawl for that matter? If you want to search me, go ahead. I have nothing to declare on my person, and I am a citizen of the sprawl. I solemnly declare that the information I have provided is true, that it is of the same force and effect as if made under oath, and that it was freely given. Okay, legal pants. Let's... You're gonna get the freaking truth spray, all right? Right in his eyes. I have nothing to declare on my person, and I am a citizen of the sprawl. Ah. I solemnly declare that the information Are you I kidding have me? provided... Okay. What am I whipping? I kind of want to try. Whip me all you like. I will not budge. I have nothing to declare on my person. Okay. I solemnly declare that the in. Okay, don't use it. It sounds like it's not gonna work, right? We can't. Be, we gotta be sure. What if? What if there's something on his person? We can't just take his word for it. Let's use our metal detector. I don't. It's probably. He's probably telling the truth, but you know, we need to be careful. Huh, nothing. But, I, you know what? Let's just admit him in. I want to see what happens. They're not going to like this, because again, he's a goblin, but... You should come by the Goblin Liberation Army Headquarters sometime. 
Here's the password. Come, it will open your eyes to what's happening in the sprawl. Ooh. Okay. You know, you followed your heart and defied the draconian species rule, but maybe there was a way to get around paying that darn fine. Oh yeah. Wait, what? What do you mean get away? How could I get around the fine? It seemed like nothing was able to work. Where's Hamish? I, I really don't have time for- uh, Say, you there, little girl? I, I need to get to the other side of the sprawl without delay. I need you to listen to me. This is time sensitive. I know you got your instructions, but it's important that I get going quickly. Uh... I swear someone was supposed to give you guys a heads up that I was coming. Let me spell it out for you. I went to school to become an ice sculptor. My parents said, you'll never make a living at it. And they were right. Until the royal wedding, that is. This is my big break. I got the ice, I sculpted it, now I have to deliver it. It's hot out. Just let me through so I can prove my parents wrong. What, so will it melt? You've got a big old cart there. That's generally reason for me to be careful. Based on the dripping I'm seeing, this is the last chance for me to make it there with my work intact. This is my goddamn party planning guild card. Hey, hey, you're rude. Oh, okay, I'll return it. Thank you. Now can I go? Listen, it took me two weeks in my cramped studio apartment to carve this ice. I had to pay a wizard to enchant the place cold enough to carve it. And you don't want to know what wizards want as payment for their enchanting. What does that mean? This is the biggest and only contract I've ever had. And my work will be ruined if you don't let me in. I'm still not completely sure about all this. Are you seeing my cart? Are you seeing the drips? I don't see the no drips! No one's gonna pay for a melted masterpiece. Just let me in. I- I just- I, I might go back in time, but let's- let's just make sure. X-ray. Wait, no, I want to x-ray the cart. Ooh, you got sculptor tools, I think. <laughs> That's my chisel. I'm a sculptor. Hmm, I'm gonna need to confiscate this. I, I I think I'll go back in time and just let them in, but I just want to see what happens if their thing melts and what the, what they'll do. I'm confiscating. I'm allowed to have these. Please don't take them. <laughs> I'm gonna sell them. This is officially the worst day ever. Don't worry, I'll go back. I know I'm being a freaking jerk. What now? I'm sorry. Denied. Straight to jail. No, I'll, I'll totally go back in time and let them in. I just want to see what happens. You will be hearing from my union rep at the party planning guild. Ooh, I'm so scared. I'm sorry, you can't just be demanded. Okay, yeah, that, that wasn't gonna work. She wasn't a threat, a go or goblin, or even a gosh dang shapeshifter. How's randomly selecting going for you? Okay, the game's mad at me. So I guess for him, I should have talked to him more, but yo, what up, whatever. Oh, so you get three per level, or like you get multiple per level. I thought it was like the whole game, you only got like six. Cause last time I saw it, it said six. All right, I'll let you in. I can't thank you enough. <laughs> Sorry for coming in hot. Weddings are the worst. If you can get close enough, take a look at my sculpture. I'll throw something in there just for you. Ooh. Gotta go. Oh, you are nice. Can I can I have a piece of ice to chew on? You let her in before too much of her masterpiece could melt away. Good work. Oh, so if I would have let her in like on the third question, maybe it would have been like half melted or something. Uh, Cecil hands a little a letter. It has reached my ears that for whatever reason you were entrusted with planning the wedding of our dear Prince Phineas. I am horrified by the choices you made, though I shouldn't be surprised at your utter lack of taste. No bonus for you. I'm 12! With great displeasure. Oh, screw you guys. I don't like you guys anyway. I don't even care about your opinion. The princess will like it. She seems down to earth, okay? Unlike you. Good enough in my book, okay? I've got a game over. Well, until, you know, if you don't count the times I was eaten by werewolves and stuff, but...
Okay, seems good to me. What's happening? What was that? Oh my god. I have a very bad feeling about this. Salve il escuela. Bring your mail grata. Is he speaking Spanish? Hello there, girl. Welcome to my realm. I need to get out of here. And fast. Cuido Ruiz. Curparo mudimos. Okay. Think, Lil. Think. Vos pises in o crenio. A tu listina dona solita. I crequiritur i mulatio. Irchis i mortem vitare veles. Okay, man. You go speak your Spanish somewhere else. Don costuditus avia. What if I use the truth spray on it? Oh, the decoder ring would have been perfect for this! I, I should have upgraded it. Why haven't I upgraded it? I gotta go back. No, he's like talking and I can't... That sucks. There's literally nothing I can do about it. These tools aren't working! Oh, the tools wouldn't work? Okay. He continues to speak. If only I understood a thing you were saying. But he's counting. Why is he counting? I think he actually is speaking Spanish, though. It kind of sounds like it. If only you understood a thing you were saying. You're gonna call somebody? What do I do? Uh. Rewind? Do I need to throw some rice at him? Oh my god! What the heck? I I'm guessing this means game over. I want to use the decoder ring. You again. Oh, so he knows that we time travel. Okay. Can I do something? I'm doing something. What the f was that? That was next level. Uh, freak out, hardcore. Let's freak out. Lil's actually so freaked out that there's she's she's at a complete loss for words. After having stumbled across space and time and having gone toe to toe with an interplanar demon, I'm gonna go down to the dig site to throw this stupid time machine down a deep hole. Okay, Lil, get it together. You can still do this. I think summon demons. Oh, we're we actually gonna throw it away. Okay. What did you give me? You've got to take it back. Sh got too real with the <laughs> chronometer 3000 thing today. I don't want it anymore. Hi, B. So nice to see you, B. Your paper in the Journal of Dwarven Medicine was a revelation, B. Well, excuse me, but I was just pulled into what I'm guessing was a parallel dimension and was murdered repeatedly by a demon. Hmm, how unfortunate. I always wondered what the byproduct of St. Bartholomew Inglebrook's lunar incantation would have on the relationship between time and interplanar folding. Stop it. I don't care about any of that. Just take it back. I'm sorry, I truly am, but we've come too far. I'm sorry I've been absent, but I've been watching, and the readings I've been receiving have been very promising. I don't care. But you would care if everything and everyone you knew and loved was at risk. Uh, wait, what? Everything might seem like we're in a storybook, but open your eyes. We're on the verge of a civil war from inside the walls. And if you hadn't heard, the princess just pissed off some very powerful people. I have not heard. It is in your best interest to continue to help me with the device. Because who knows when we will need to rewind time and unf*** something more important than which nobody you chose to send to the dungeon today. And you're here after allegedly going toe-to-toe -to -toe with an interplanar demon. I trust you. Uh, I guess I'll accept because I just want to see what's going to happen. I'm not going to keep doing this forever. You and everyone else are going to owe me a childhood, you know? Q. 
keep helping me with the chronometer 3000 and we can see about making that happen for you. Okay. I swear we're doing everything around here. Sick of it. All right, let's go to Garby's shop and upgrade our ring because I still feel like maybe we could have used it and I don't know. I'm really mad because I wanted to see what he said. Unless he, if he really was speaking Spanish, I was like half joking about that. He's got a new hat, by the way. Uh, yeah, you should let me know what he said if you know Spanish, if that's what he was speaking. If not, disregard my stupid comment. Because I swear it's only, like a little bit. A little bit sounded like. You've it. been at this a while. You should have enough cash by now to power up your arsenal. Take a look. Yeah, I think we have plenty. Dakota ring, where is it? Okay, um, there we go. That sounds good. Seems good to me. Oh, so yeah, you can't normally go over here. I was right. I was like wondering why it let us last episode. Well, I know why, but you get the point. I like how his hat is just an umbrella. He always has a different hat. I'm guessing he still doesn't like his hat. That's, uh, that's what I would guess. She is here! It is the little guardsman who spoke to Princess Desdemona and secured the union of the Sprawl and the Kingdom of Petra. Uh, stop, stop at you. Yeah, I did that. Yeah, I did. Told her just what to do and she listened to my every word. My heavens, you aren't shy, are you? Not really. Sorry. Never be sorry. sorry. Audacity is an admirable quality. Only the most well-bred people aren't shy. Shyness is for the lower classes. We must celebrate with a bottle of fine Badradian Vizzy. Oh, barkeep! Uh, I'm 12. I can't drink alcohol. Poppycock, who told you that? Most highborn Patradians have their first taste of Fizzy long before they're your age. <laughs> wow, really? That seems problematic. Hmm, perhaps. However, now I must prepare to perform the Patradian National Anthem in celebration on my trusty bugle. But first, I must do my vocal warm-ups. <clears throat> the lips, the teeth, the tip of the tongue. The lips, the teeth, the tip of the tongue. The heck? The lips, the teeth, the tip of the tongue. And that's my cue to leave. All right, man, you have fun with that. Uh, hello. Today's cocktail special is, uh, not relevant to you, Lil. Sorry. And we just ran out of milk. Sorry again. I don't think 12-year-olds drink milk like that. I mean, I guess they would. I did. I guess I did. What the heck is this? Well, like, not normally. Lil, can you be on the lookout for a health inspector? They can look like anybody. How about you whistle if you think you've identified one? Wait, well, because all the rats? Yeah, that's I right. I can't whistle. Well, then scream health inspector at the top of your lungs. I'll see what I can do. Do we actually... Hmm, health inspector? Yeah, I remember when we... I worked at a... Uh, I remember when I worked at a place, we would, like... We, yeah, we would be looking out for the health inspector. Because, obviously, I think every place does something that you shouldn't do. You know? <laughs> Or maybe the place I worked at was just not great. But yeah, yeah, everyone freaked out when Health Inspector showed up. That's not a good sign, is it? No, probably not. All right, yeah, so they wanted me to come here to this place. He's got chips. Hello? Hello? I brought the orange slices. Or was orange slices, that's what I said. Meeting day or one of those top secret planning for what's gonna happen at the princess's wedding days? Is anybody here? I'm here. Are you here for the meeting? I don't think so. Oh, then you can't have any orange slices. Just lie. Those aren't orange slices. Those are just the rinds. They, oh. I got hungry. Oh, okay. Well. Testing, what's this deal with the mole people? Hello, is this thing on? Oh. Oh, what's this? What is this? What's this? I've gone back to where it started to find myself in light. We were apart for more than a lifetime, but now we'll be right. Remember to bring running shoes. I have a feeling the GLA leader wrote that. At least, I'm sure that troll over there didn't. I wonder what it means. Where it all started. You know, I gotta go back to the guard shed? The image has started to appear all the sprawl in the past few months. Now that you know what it means, viva la gablution. <laughs> Okay. What does this say? Think of of corruption and lies and some coupons. There's Monty's! I would love to have some Monty soup. 
I want to try that dessert soup. It sounds disgusting, to be honest. Well, there's really nowhere for me to go, so I guess let's go to bed. Oh my god, there's so much to read. Okay. What's he meeting in the sprawl? Edward went to work trying to find the people A wanted to get married and B needed someone to officially marry them. Did he actually make it? Is that what I want to know? Ooh, he got hired on the spot. He's actually gonna do the wedding. Oh, that's so good for him. On what, so he got offered. On one hand, he felt that he struck gold with this being his very first professional opportunity to try his hand at the thing he set his sights on a few hours before. On the other hand, his utter lack of basic competency made him nervous. <laughs> Edward remembered the words his parents told him as a child. Edward, we don't care what you do in life. Just don't become an amateur children's birthday party magician. Okay, there we go. Good for him. I knew I made the right call there. Okay, so not only did we not get to read what was on the letter, he ate the freaking letter, literally, and also erased his own memory. So we don't know we don't know what the letter said. But you know who didn't forget the letter? The ferret articulus conjured to eat the evidence. The uh oh yeah, so it was a ferret that he had eat it, whatever. The surprisingly uh literate animal managed to catch quite a bit before he polished the papers off. How is it supposed to live its ferret life now, knowing what it knows? Surely it was only a foot-long, charismatic little predator with the body of a chubby weasel, but he was no chicken. So we need to find the ferret. <laughs> Unfortunately, the sound of a ferret, uh, retching ferret caught the attention of Articulus. Thoroughly mind wiped, the mage had zero recollection as to why he'd conjure the ferret in the first place, but he was damn sure it wasn't so he could throw up on the nice rug. The mage unsummoned the ferret before it could get the contents of its stomach up, and as a result, the fate of the sprawl remained uncertain. Okay. Okay, so nothing with him. He just went through. Okay, what happened to our eye sculpture? Okay, it went good. Oh, it's literally the devil. Okay, it's all okay. I don't know what this says, man. On second thought, I don't think this is Spanish. <laughs> I don't think that's Spanish. But boy, did it sound close. I'll say that. Good morning. You're listening to the Morning Crawl, the number one morning show in the sprawl. I'm Dodger, joined by my new co host, The Quack. For those of you wondering where the ham is, well, it turns out he got an invitation to the royal wedding happening today. The ham? Good on him. Of course, he won't be wearing a tuxedo. He'll be in head-to-toe honey glaze. Oh, never mind. Well, if you don't like the jokes I tell, you can do it yourself. I told the producer I refuse to work with a duck. <laughs> Oh, wow. Interesting. Oh, the weather's gonna be nice today. Yeah. You guys, I can speak duck. Black! <laughs> <laughs> okay, now it's time to unsubscribe. <laughs> Today's scrub of the day goes to... Ellie Pork Chop Boy 6962. 